Hi, I'm Daniel Recknitzer and welcome to the Intuition Wisdom Channel. You know, every day we're helping liberate people from the rat race, helping them to become self-mastered and to live their life purpose, you know, to really make a difference to themselves and the planet. Now, if you're ready to change your life and step into your power and access that limitless intuition, then you've come to the right place. So today I wanna to share with you some golden highlights from my feature videos. And once you've checked this one out, remember to look at the description for more videos just like this one. All right, let's dive in. So you had another question. What? My health has been not as good as it could be probably for more than 12 months now. And um, I feel that I'm doing the right things as in doing what the doctors say and herbally and whatnot, holistically as much as I can, but it's not getting any better. And I feel, or I know that it's to do with my emotional state and I'm not right. quite sure, you know, what to do and to move on. Is there specific symptoms that, that are happening? Weight loss. Yeah. Uh, my digestive system is, my body isn't absorbing all of the nutrients that I'm giving it. Okay. And the excessive weight loss is affecting my tiredness, my sure. levels of energy, everything. Sure. So. Okay, well, let's have a look at that. Um, one of the most magnificent things about the human brain is that it's actually an antenna. And it's so accustomed to perceiving our own thoughts, our own emotions that we've forgotten its true purpose. And one of its fundamental applications is the diagnostic of symptoms, not only in our own body, but also in other people. Mm -hmm. So we're so used to the medical world diagnosing things with blood tests or x-rays or MRI scans, but right within us is the most powerful diagnostic machine ever invented. Mm -hmm and that's our human brain. So we can redirect our brain to pick up and perceive what is at the root cause of symptoms within ourselves, in our children, and in other people. So I'll do that with you. Okay. So we'll have a look at there. Okay, the very first thing that shows up is there's a lot of beating yourself up, okay, mm -hmm. where you get angry at yourself if you make a mistake. You get angry at yourself if you say the wrong things to people. Mm. Yeah. And there's not enough self-love in every day of your life to, to support a, best word is, a cutback lifestyle. And I'll explain what that means. You are holding yourself back in so many ways. It's like every time there's a, an opp opportunity to shine, to give someone a real gift, to show yourself who you really are, it's like you pull back. Yeah, mm -hmm. you relate to that? Yeah. yeah, you pull yourself back. I mean, it's the ultimate self-sabotage, but um, that sounds like a bit harsh because you're not... You know, you're not doing it intentionally to, to cause yourself harm. It's just because you feel you're going to fail. Mm. You know, it's just part of our belief system. Because you've got a belief, um, I'm a failure at everything I do, that's in your subconscious mind, that's a belief. Right? Mm -hmm. um, before you get to experiencing failure, oh, I pull myself back. Mm. That's how you protect yourself, okay? Yeah. So what's happening with your health is it's... Your health completely mirrors that mo emotion. It's like you want it to grow and be alive, but I pull myself back. So the body's healthy energy is being held back. Okay? Your feels like even your, um, your appetite is being held back. It feels like... Um, what else is going on there? It's like you're not feeding your body self-love. So the food, it's showing me that the food is, it's like all the nutrients are drained out of it because the optimum way for a body to process nutrition is under the condition of self-love. 
You know, it's like if you're eating food while you're angry, you get a stomach ache, don't you? Mm. Right? Uh, whereas if you're eating food and you're enjoying it and you're loving what you've made and you're loving yourself, you're loving the people around you, that's the optimum way to extract the most nutrients. Mm. But you're eating to fill a void. And the void is you're not generating enough self-love. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's see what, what the solution is moving forward. It really comes back to like we alluded to about focus on me. I'm my own project. What am I going to do today that's going to bring me joy and love and self-love? It, it's about putting the blinkers up about who else is in your life. You know how you, you know, I can see very clearly you have kind of always a thought on others. Are they enjoying themselves? Mm. You know, are they okay? Well, that's got to stop, okay? Because what happens is well, the minute you start uh, nurturing that inner focus, that outward experience is that you're going to start witnessing people really enjoying themselves. You're going to really experience people loving themselves. Remember, our reality out there is just a reflection of our inner reality. Mm. So that concern about are people enjoying themselves is, is simply, I'm not really enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not really feeling passion anymore. So you're looking for, is everyone else feeling passion? Yeah. Is everyone else okay? But that's just a reflection of your inner Myself. world. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any other questions on that? No, I don't think I do. I think you've, you've hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. Thank you for watching and make sure you give us the thumbs up if you loved it. Now, also remember to subscribe so we feel supported and we feel encouraged to keep making more videos like this. Now, my best recommendation is for you to check out the links below to find the perfect video for you. Choose whatever resonates. I'm sure you'll love it.